Hey everybody, it's Triple L. Now let's very quickly talk about some My Hero Academia stuff that popped up today. Wow, I am never on time with these ones. But hey, guys, uh, footage for Season 3 came out. So uh, before I start playing it, it's very short, like about 50 seconds. But if you're hungry for the footage, you know, you're going to get it here. Uh, don't worry about spoilers. I've seen the footage already. And uh, the majority of the scenes are really coming out of just one or two chapters of the manga. You're not going to be spoiled. It's just going to be nice and hype and uh, it's going to be out of context. So here we have it playing. Uh, it's pretty much just uh, sequences of the characters and the characters uh, just doing a couple of things using their quirks and all that. Uh, nothing really too interesting on the student side. We also get a shot of the villains. Some of the villains we've already seen before, but it just kind of establishes that uh, these guys are going to be playing a part in the season. And as we look with the uh, students, if you make the note, uh, they're in the woods. So this is just covering the summer camp aspect that they're going to be going into for this season. It's going to be pretty exciting. Now, if you are too impatient to wait for the anime, you could go ahead and just pick up the manga. Uh, season 3 starts at around chapter 70. So you uh, start your manga journey right around there and then you can be caught up by the time season 3 comes out. But that's only if you are, I guess, a very impatient fellow. Uh, season 3 is going to be more epic than season two. There's going to be a lot of moving pieces and a lot of pretty cool action pieces. If we're lucky, we might also get to see a pretty hype event depending on how long season three is going to be running for. If it's running for 24 episodes, I think we're in, we're, we're in for a treat. Also, along with season three's teaser, there is now an image of the My Hero Academia movie floating around. And here we go. Here's the image. So. Uh, very quickly, you can recognize a few people there. And uh, the funny thing that I want to just mention is that if you look at the relevancy chart that floats around this channel, uh, you'll notice it's all the relevant characters. Or in other words, the A team and the B team with the notable exception of Tokoyami. Kind of unfortunate, I guess the boy's popularity kind of died down. Now, whether or not the characters that are not appearing on that image, the other Class 1A students, whether or not they're going to be showing up in the movie, whether or not this means they're going to be having reduced roles in the movies, you know, is yet to be seen. Okay, you know what? What am I? Why am I saying that? We know they're going to have reduced roles in the movie. Can you imagine Animal Boy going in there and actually having a big role? Nah, no way, man. It's not going to happen. Uh, the characters that we're seeing on that poster are most likely the ones that are going to eat up this, uh, the screen time. Um, the other things is that we have the girl in the middle. I have no idea who that is. At first, I thought it was Pony from Class 1B, and then I thought maybe it could be Mount Lady. Like, you could check out her design right here. Um, it's kind of tough to tell. There's been word circulating that the movie was going to touch upon someone's backstory, whether or not this girl is the person who's going to get touched upon. No idea. Um, it might just be a new character as well. Another thing to note is that Ida is the one leading the charge on this one, whether that's just trying to represent his position as the class representative or whether that's because he's going to have a more pronounced role. Uh, that kind of we have to wait and see, although considering that season two featured Ida pretty prominently when it came to the latter half of the season. Giving us a plot that continues Ida's struggles or maybe touches upon his family life. We know that Ida came from a rather prestigious family. Uh, that could be something interesting. Honestly, the form that this Hero Academia movie is going to take, it's going to be very interesting because it's going to kind of set the tone for future Hero Academia movies. We know with the Naruto movies, what they ultimately ended up doing was just having Naruto go around to different parts of the country and uh, solve problems there. The One Piece movies just have Luffy going into different islands and having him face off against bigger and badder enemies. So seeing how Hero Academia plays it, I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of curious. Anyway, a very short video. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you're excited. Season 3 can't come fast enough and we got the date. It's coming out in April. Awesome. We only have to go through about 4 more months. Great stuff. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time, I hope you have an absolutely great day.